Interesting. I can do them one better. I will need buttons, an Arduino, potentiometers, wires, hot glue, a soldering iron, and solder, ingenuity, and tenacity. I already had the last four items, but you might need to order them from Amazon. The next step is to arrange all the parts so that they look like this. Then you're done. For some of you, the second step might seem a little confusing. I'll elaborate now. First, draw a tic-tac-toe board. Then add another layer to make it 4x4. Four four. Then you're going to want to play the game so that the X's win at the top and everywhere else O's win. This is the basic schematic for the... Uh, the buttons. Transfer that drawing to a solid piece of wood or thin material. I chose plexiglass because it's clear. Now use a drill to make holes wherever I've written hole. Use buttons that sound like this for maximum satisfaction and put them into the holes in a color fashion that is nice. In other words, not like this. Next, grab your Arduino and hook up the wires. Nice! Each button has two poles, the negative and the positive. You're going to want to hook all the negatives together and plug that wire into ground. The other side of the buttons, you're going to want to plug in here, 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 and the potentiometers here, 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 and then plug the power cable in. Then write all of this code or pull it off the internet. If these instructions seemed unclear, they were. Now we'll have a brief demonstration brought to you by DJ Severin. How's everybody doing out there tonight? I said, how's everybody doing out there tonight? Yeah, that's more like it.